we'll try to do is kind of an angle here. Take our trap shrug out of it, and all we'll do is just use our medial deltoid. Put that in your fucking textbook and smoke it. Some kind of domestic animal. Ready? Yes! <laughs> yes! Pokemon! It's just amplifier. Fire. What is it? It's a little sushi. You eat it. This is a little sushi? Eat it. Try it. It tastes pretty good. We're on 2%. Got back to the Airbnb. Uh, sushi. Connor made it down here. Worked out a little bit. Just hit some snatches while I was at Barber Brigade. Nothing crazy. Uh, today's kind of a chill day. We're going to go to a market later, find some food, but uh, 7 a.m. workout tomorrow with Mr. Barquan and Mr. Max Tuning is going to be a long day. Here's your tour of the Airbnb. I didn't know how small it was. You can't really tell when you're online, you know? Bathroom's decent. You just see pictures. Bathroom's a decent size. It's actually pretty nice. Can't complain. I'm, not, I'm a pretty low-key guy, so I don't really care. Um, oh, no. Are you dying, camera? Don't die. We got 1%. Don't die on me. Don't cry for me, Argentina. Connor being a bum. Like, you don't know that song? song? Yeah, bro. That's your national song? No, not national. I think it's an actual. Oh, uh, no. Don't cry for me, Argentina. I, I hey, comment that. below if you guys know what that's from. I don't think anyone's going to know. They know, that. dude. I, if one of you guys know, we'll give you some Reebok gear. Um, downtown LA, pretty cool. A pool. That's what peeping Connor's gonna be looking at all night. All the ladies swimming. Freeway. Pretty dope view. See you guys at the market because this battery's dying because Connor came unprepared. Thank you. How much is that right there? About a pound? Not even a pound. We're thinking today and tomorrow. Two pounds, yeah? Yeah, two pounds. Went to Central Market, which is super dope. Uh, the homie Bart Quan and the homie Saro showed me. It's just like a kind of indoor, outdoor, kind of open walled market with tons of different food. Sadly, every time I've gone, it's near closing, so only 10% of it's open. But uh, we tried a Mexican burrito last time, and this time we just got Mexican, just a bunch of meat and rice. So I'm gonna show you guys that, and we're gonna call it a night. Tomorrow morning, early ass work, uh, workout. I think we're gonna be at the gym at seven uh, to train with Bart. Six thirty. Lucky Jack coffee. Early. Chug this coffee shower. Barber Brigade. We're on the way. Story time. So for some reason, when oh there's a car behind you, getting lost. Sorry, man. We're vlogging. When we uh, travel, for some reason, we just come across things that kind of give you uh, the hmm type face. So, story time in. Uh, uh, Houston, Texas, hanging out with Mr. Candido. We're outside shooting uh, that interview that hopefully you guys enjoyed. And someone comes kind of running out, kind of quick, kind of, you know, young, youngish 20 kid. Oh, you guys, uh, what do you do? Like, uh, I'm really getting into film, uh, cinematography and, and photography. And I was like, oh, cool, man. Like, yeah, we kind of do YouTube or whatever. I introduce myself. Hey, man, my name is Mike. Uh, this is uh, Johnny and this is Connor. Cool, cool, cool. Yeah, I just started taking uh, videos and pictures. I've been doing it for this gym. I do Instagram. Very cool, man. Like, uh, that's kind of what we do, you know? We do some fitness stuff. We do some lifestyle stuff. We do some vlogging. Uh, and we're just getting into cameras, too. Like, uh, as you guys know, Connor uh, does all these dope videos for you. And he's only been doing it about a year, and he's all self-taught. And same with me. I don't know what the hell I'm doing with any of this, uh, besides the lifting part. I don't know what I'm doing YouTube-wise. Uh, and so we're like, yeah, man, cool, 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 cool. 
He's like, all right, like, uh, he's like, oh, well, I'll be sure to check out your guys' channels. Nice to meet you, Silent Mike. <laughs> nice to meet you, Silent Mike. I was like, hmm, you little son of a bitch. Moral of the story, <clears throat> just come say what's up. I'd love to meet any of you, but give me the eyebrow, you know? So then we're down here in LA. Don't go too fast. What if this gate closes on your ass? Connor doesn't give a fuck about this Civic. <laughs> oh, I got to do the address. Dude, we're vlogging. We're, we're on our way to Barbell. That's why I want to give you guys story time. Go right. So then, uh, I'm kind of an Airbnb noob. Um, so just trying to figure all that out. But so you, you sign up and you like, I had to like verify my email, my phone, and maybe even my ID. Like I think I put in my license or some shit. So we'll put all that in, blah, blah, blah. Sign up. I, I got this, uh, just this little law for me and Connor that you guys saw here in LA, downtown LA, because it's kind of close to uh, Bart's office and also Barber Brigade uh, and all the food and stuff in downtown. So. You sign up, you email the guy, I don't know if you guys have used Airbnb, you just kind of email and then it, it has you send a message why you're here, like what you're doing. So I just said, oh, like shooting uh, some content and a little bit of work, a little bit of fun, it'll be me and my buddy because they want to know who's going to be in the place. Uh, and I emailed it to a name, maybe Richard. So then uh, depending on the place, I think some places have lock boxes, so you they give you a code and then the key's in there, kind of like a real estate agent. This one, the guy met me, uh, so he just messages me or texts me through Airbnb and says, hey, uh, let me know when you want to check in, I'll be around. So he's been super cool, super helpful. His wife showed me around, um, blah, blah, blah. Cool, cool, cool. This guy's pants are down. Yeah, what the fuck? Dude, LA. Cool, so then Connor showed up uh, one day after, and so we had to get a parking pass because he brought his car. Uh, and the guy met us super fast, super quick, really nice, showed us where to park. Uh, and he hopped out the car to give us the access key to the uh, parking lot. And then out of the corner of my eye or my ear, I hear him introduce himself to Connor. I was like, oh, hey, this is my buddy Connor. He's staying with me or whatever. He's like, hey, man, nice to meet you, Eric. Five minutes before that, he called me on the phone and said, hey, Mike, it's Richard. <laughs> so this guy's in a crisis. This guy's confused. I'm confused. Maybe it was his twin brother. Six o'clock in the morning. Seven o'clock in the morning, we're late. It's all right, Bart will yell at me. Time to lift. This guy named Chris Papillon, OG. Uh, I think he was benching like 770. And I wasn't ready. So this dude's benching 770 in a shirt. I wasn't ready, I'm 23, it's first meet ever. I'm spotting, I didn't know what to do, I didn't know what to do, I'm like kinda here, kinda here. Cause in a shirt, you've seen it, like people just miss, 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 miss. Ooh, 775 pounds, just, yeah. Well, uh, it's supposed to be a my All right. Yeah, so we'll just do like a normal bench and then bullshit accessories. <laughs> Benching. Three cameras, three dudes, one barbell. Three cameras, three cameramen, three wannabe power lifters. I think Bart's got a 5x3, 315. Mr. Deadlift Bra is uh, two weeks out from his meet, so I think he's got. Uh, like 275, 280. He's gonna crush that because his pecs are fucking steel. My bench doesn't feel great, so I'll just try to keep up with Bart. Bart's fucking jacked now. I'm, I'm fat and weak, and he's jacked and strong, so we're fucking screwed. One, two, three. Your titties are really bubbly. I've mastered power lift. Like, I haven't mastered lifting weight. You know, like the, the shit they talk of techniques lifting all the weight, not the muscles. Yeah. That's me. 29 and feeling divine, you know what I mean? You know what I mean? I know what you mean. I do like that. Three of these. So, Mike, one, two, three. Competition wise, uh, best numbers in competition is a 600 pound deadlift, a 291 bench, and a 467 squat. At what weight? I actually competed last time at 181. Now I'm competing 165. The North Sky, one, two, three. They're all white, dude. Nice. Let's go, Mike. Up and back. Up and back. Nice. You got it. Up 
Come back. Back towards Bart. Back towards Bart. On high. That bar's pause is so good, I was like, fuck. Easy work. into it, not feeling it. I may have this facade of being a powerlifter, I'm a fucking bodybuilder. Often when you're here, what you do is you end up shrugging and working more of your traps. So what we try to do is kind of an angle here, take our trap shrug out of it, and all we'll do is just use our medial deltoid. Put that in your fucking textbook and smoke it. I, the reason I chose Mike, I've known for a long time, super strong, super smart guy, and also I think it's important to kind of try different things. So I've done some coaching on some previous powerlifting meets and I've done well at them. But I think just because you do well doesn't mean you couldn't do better. And I'm just I'm a big advocate of like changing it up in the gym and always kind of keep it interesting to kind of keep me motivated to go to the gym. Because I don't want to follow the same style of lifting for 10 years. I'd get bored. So it's been good so far. It's been different. Like training less, a lot more like heavy doubles and triples than I'm used to. Sister, I never wanted. Uh, and then it up. Probably three years, three years ago. Does uh, I always give credit to Nick Wright for like putting me out there and yeah. stuff. And he's always, he's always makes jokes about like Dr. Ray and Eminem. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> he's, he's like, he's like, I didn't push him on. I, I, you just needed like, you were like, you were able to make it. You just needed that spark to get out yeah. there. Shows everything. Eat all that butter too. I don't want that. <laughs> uh, well, I'm not gonna eat it. Delicious. I'm not even a breakfast guy. Some egg whites, some turkey, some flapjacks, sugar-free syrup, some fruit for some health. All around balanced breakfast. They all fucking taste shitty, but the fried fruit. Is the key to being jacked yeah, to just be shirtless every day? Hell yeah. Pretty much the same thing. That's why. That's why he never takes his shirt off. 
Because I'm like, is that good looking? Yeah. Is it the fresh air that just burns the fat off? Yeah, this is you always It's the same, you see that? It's the same thing. You got nice shoes at least. No, I'm not sure Oh yeah, thank you. What are you fucking doing, Yoda? Just trying to edit these videos. Obi Wan Obi Kenobi, Obi Wan Kenobi, the editor over here. Long ass day. I'm sitting here watching some BMW videos. I think I've told you guys the story, but back in the golden days, this is my birthday, by the fucking way, internet. I'm 29. I don't like to celebrate my birthday. It's the only reason I tell you is because it goes back to the story, and also. Because by the time you see this video, it'll be past my birthday. So if you wish me happy birthday, you look stupid and it doesn't matter anymore. Uh, age probably 12, maybe 11, I got into cars. And so I started, I mean, I was kind of into cars, you know, little kids playing. Fucking Hot Wheels and shit. But I really got into cars and I started with, uh, I think the Google was just invented around that age. Uh, the Google? Yeah. You never heard of the Google? Okay. The Google machine. <laughs> you ask it a question and it answers it. So we're talking, I don't know, 2000, probably 2000, maybe 90, 98, 99. I started getting into, into cars. And then um, for some reason, I fell in love with E36 BMWs. Uh, so seventh grade, sixth grade, uh, started to just look around the world and figure out how to make some fucking money. And then uh, me and my friend noticed that at our school, we had seventh and eighth grade dances. So then in seventh grade, you start to organize these dances. There's just a committee, right? Uh, the events committee or whatever. And so we got on that. And so we put our first dance together. And you hire the DJ. You rent the room, whatever. You invite the eighth graders and blah, blah, blah. And you have a seventh and eighth grade dance, like a Halloween dance and a winter dance and blah, blah. Um, but then we figure out how expensive these DJs are. You know, they're like, whatever, a grand an hour or 700 bucks an hour. And then they suck. Right, we're seventh graders, we're trying to listen to dope music, we're trying to get our jiggy on. I don't even know what music's going on right now, right at that time, like ludicrous and shit. And the DJs suck, and then me and my buddy were really into music, and we're like, well screw that, 700 bucks? Like bro, we're gonna be rich. So we're like, here we go. So for our birthdays, uh, and for Christmas, we asked for like DJ gear. Um, so we ended up DJing uh, since seventh grade up until I was probably about 20. I uh, ended up with turntables and getting into it a little bit. I wasn't a master by any means. Um, we got our own speakers. We got our own laser lights. We did everything. We started doing uh, high school dances, local dances. We did a bunch of weddings. Um, we did everything, like almost once a month. And we started to make cash. Uh, that same friend, as soon as we got our license in like sophomore year, end of freshman year high school, uh, what we began to do is um, solicit my dad's office and his dad's office and what we would do is we would drive together and pick up people's cars, bring it back to my house, full detail them and charge them like whatever, 80 bucks. So we do a couple cars a day, every single day during the week, start to cash up. Uh, and all of this was because I wanted to uh, buy a BMW. Long story short, I sold it, but I still love BMWs. I'm watching this little documentary. It's called Respect Your Elders on uh, E30s. Don't mind Obi-Wan Kenobi in the background. Friendly to each other. Sleep tight. Don't let the bug butts bite. And if they do, count to two, and I'll wake you up in the morning. Please tell me your mom told you that. Yeah, she did. I haven't heard that in years. Love you guys.